On a remote, windswept stretch of the Russian steppe last week, a military official shouted into a microphone, giving play-by-play -play commentary as tanks, combat helicopters and fighter jets fired and bombed their way through a multi-nation exercise near the Kazakhstan border. It is one of several drills that Russia has staged in recent weeks alongside allies from Central Asia. The latest one, which a CBC crew was invited to witness, took place between September 20 and September 24 at the Donga's training range in Russia's Orenburg region. Nine nations took part in the drills dubbed Peace Mission 2021 including Pakistan, Uzbekistan, Tajikistan and China, all of which border Afghanistan. The exercises were partially focused on anti-terrorism operations, and officials with Russia's Ministry of Defense were eager for them to be publicized. While it is clear Russia is keen to show off its vast weaponry and military prowess, observers say the country is also sending a message. Just what that message is and who is meant to receive it is up for debate. Since the Taliban seized power in Kabul and ousted Afghanistan's government on August 15, the militant group has tried to assure the international community it will run a stable government. But it has not renounced its ties with al-Qaeda, and there are concerns the takeover of Afghanistan could lead to a rise in terrorism in the region. Timur Yumarov, a research consultant with the Carnegie Moscow Center, said Russia is broadcasting competing narratives through its public statements and its military exercises about the risk of threats from Afghanistan spilling beyond its borders. He said on the one hand, Russia is projecting confidence in a bid to assure its citizens that it has the situation under control. At the same time, officials are telling neighboring countries that the risk emanating from Afghanistan is so great, they better fall into line with Moscow. That narrative is that everything is unpredictable. The risks are higher, and that is why everyone should cooperate, Yumarov said. That is why everyone should move their military closer together with Russia.